All right, hello everyone. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. Let me pop up my face. All right, good to see everyone. Thank you for joining on this relaxing Saturday today. So this is the 1st of May, 2021, and this is on Saturday. So time flies. We are already in May. And finally, we start to see some new trends in the market. So since this is a relaxing Saturday, um, I will just do some casual talk and uh, try to check charts and uh, share my new updates and things like that until the Ichimoku membership starts um, one hour later. So thank you for joining everyone. Once again, good to see you. It's been a relaxing Saturday today. I woke up very early this morning. Actually, I woke up like uh, 6 a.m. for some reason. And um, I took one hour to uh, to review some charts and uh, to, uh, to see, see some messages and went to bed again um, at like uh, 8 a.m. until like uh, 9.30 and just woke up. And so for some reason I wasn't able to sleep well last night so uh, I took a nap before the G test start started uh, uh, two hours ago. I took a nap a little bit and here I am. So I'm fresh now. I feel like I'm a uh, I'm in the daytime, although this is already at uh, 11 p.m. in Japan. I feel like it's in daytime. So anyways, um, this is a relaxing Saturday. Uh, recently in Tokyo, it's been there has been thunderstorms and there was a big earthquake again in uh, Japan, Tokyo. Tokyo was like, uh, I think it was M4 or so, but in the north part of uh, Japan, there was a huge earthquake again. So. Yeah, no more earthquake. It's uh, it actually happened at uh, like 9 a.m. or so in Japan time, and that was oh sorry that was a uh, sorry 10:30 10:30 a.m. in Japan time it happened, and that was a uh, very huge. So recently we have some earthquakes, so hopefully um, it settles down, especially under the state of emergency right now in Tokyo. I hope. Things will settle down soon. So, anyways, um, okay. I start to see comments here. Thank you for joining, everyone. Good to see you again, Alicia. Good to see you from Philippines. Thank you for joining. I think Philippines has also many earthquakes, so um, hopefully everybody's okay over there too. Hello, Sorosh. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. And Maxwell, Asif, good to see you again. Thank you for joining here again. Emeka, good to see you. And Esa, thank you for joining. Oh, still on Ramadan. Oh, okay. Yeah. In, uh, in, uh, yeah. There's uh, still Ramadan going on until the mid May. So, uh, but I heard that there is uh, many shopping opportunities, many good sales during Ramadan, so I think it's time, good time to shop. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Onkar. Thank you for joining. Good to see you here again. Thank you for joining. And Aditya, good to see you. And Robert, Ahmed, good to see you too. Seman, good to see you too. And Kuan, Melanie, thank you for joining. And good to see you again. Thank you for joining here. And Danish, good to see you too. Thank you for joining. Nathan, thank you for joining too. Ruslan, good to see you. And Jai and Jorg, good to see you too. I just uh, say hi to everyone first and then start to talk about some markets. Just to give enough time until people come in here. And it's Saturday, uh, the market is closed anyways, so we can just go slowly for today's live stream. Hello Christopher, thank you for joining. Good to see you as well, as always. Um, let's see, oh, Marzio says, um, Hi Kay, for which reason you use also analysis weekly chart? 
uh, in tour sequence there is no weekly time frame which information you keep from weekly chart um, I basically um, focus on the weekly time frames every weekend or on Monday because simply that because that's the weekly candle close so and uh, if the weekly candle closes and I want to see Kumo structure Ichimoku 5 lines on the weekly chart and also I want to see how the candlesticks are forming on the recent uh, on the recent weeks so that um, I can always uh, focus on the bigger picture and narrow it down to lower time frames and right now this is the May 1st so uh, I will also look at the monthly chart as well every month's end I look at the monthly chart every weekend I look at the weekly chart every day end I look at the daily charts hello studio thank you for joining XAUUSD is down, alright. To me, it's ranging in the daily chart, but I think for scalpers or intradays, it's downtrending. Hello, Kailash, good to see you too. Thank you for joining. Once again, good to see you. And Kulan, thank you for joining too. Welcome to the live stream. Good to see you again here. Crystal, thank you for joining. He says, uh, we always dress very nice. Oh, thank you. Um, I start to dress with uh, this uh, tie uh, for, the, for the recent couple of months because um, this is my commitment. This is to show my commitment to, uh, to, uh, to be able to help for everyone who joins my YouTube channel. And that's why. And I feel good. I feel very... Uh, I feel serious. I take serious on these live streams when I dress like this. So, and this is my just this is just my style. I could dress casually, but that will be for my second channel. My private channel can dress nice, uh, you know, casually. But here, I I I feel better in this way so that I can take things seriously. Hello LA, good to see you here again. Thank you for joining. And Tam, good to see you. Jagadish, good evening. Thank you for joining. Alright Tam, thank you for joining from Vietnam. Good to see you here. Alright, we have many traders from different parts of the world, which is very nice. Thank you for joining. Robert, thank you for joining from France. Good to see you. Yes, good to see you too. Yeah, I know Melanie. Yeah, earthquakes. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it doesn't do any worse in Japan. Yeah, no more earthquakes here. Because like we have in Japan, we have like four plates meet together, and that's why we have lots of earthquakes and volcanoes. The the uh, yeah, the pros about these earthquakes is that we have many hot springs. We have many nature which is very nice but sometimes it damages these towns and people which is not really good yeah but i mean kind of used to the earthquake now because uh, i grew up in japan of course in raising japan so uh yeah i have been i have been uh, experiencing the earthquakes small earthquakes comes uh every month or every once in two months it comes so before the earthquake comes usually uh, maybe 30 seconds one minute before there's a big alarm uh, you know uh, goes from mobile and everybody will be, be uh, very surprised wow there's a big earthquake coming in about a minute so we have to do something but I'm kind of used to it so uh, it's the part of life now Dan good to see you and Dink good to see you too Mashiage, thank you for joining. Good to see you here. And Ruslan, thank you for the reminder also for the like button. Please. Thank you for that. Alex, thank you for joining. And Reza, good to see you too. Oh, currently, I'm in Tokyo. I'm in Japan. 
I will be in Dubai in June. I already got the visa and ID, so I m just have to do some paperwork in Japan and、uh, move in Dubai in June. Hello, s e r i o Thank you for joining. To see here. Sila says,、um, Hi K, e i is it some pairs you don't recommend to trade with Ichimoku Cloud? Um, um, for myself,、uh, I prefer to take the major pairs and minors, and I don't really go for New Zealand pairs.、Um, even Swiss pairs are low priority for me because it's volatile in lower time frames. And in terms of other markets,、um, I never took any trades on cryptocurrencies. So、um, that's another, another like,、uh, thing. I get, like, almost every day, I get questions like、um, whether to change the Ichimoku parameters、uh, from the original to something else for crypto trades because it runs 24 hours. And my answer is.、Uh, Uh, I would, if I were to take tries on cryptos, then I will stick to the original settings first and then switch it uh, gradually, uh, make some changes. But you can still, still take tries, you can still do some analysis and take tries by the original settings, although it moves 24 hours. Yeah, as long as you see what it works and what it doesn't work in a particular condition, you should be fine. Because myself, this is kind of an ironic statement, but、um, I use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, but、uh, in, on the other side, I don't really trust the indicators. I trust the price action, and also I trust my own experience to, to take trades. And Ichimoku can give us、uh, you know, different. Angles, different views of the market, but it doesn't mean that I always trust the Ichimoku. When it works, when Ichimoku, when market respects the Ichimoku, then I take it. The price theory, time theory, I take it, or Ichimoku five lines. What, but、uh, if the Ichimoku doesn't really work on a particular condition, then simply I don't use it. So,、uh, You know, in, in Japan, we say that the,、uh, we cannot, we cannot、uh, how do you say, like we cannot,、uh, what's the word, what's the right word?、Um, we cannot drink water with the knife. Like,、uh, you know, knife has its use and cup has its use. And you cannot cut something with the cup and you cannot drink something with a knife. So I think it's the same concept about any indicators, in my opinion. So, so, let me just switch it to some market. So, right now I'm setting the Euro CAD from、um, yesterday. It's been still running and I'm still keeping these positions right now. So, Euro CAD looks to be still turning down in 4 hour chart. So, I'm looking for the sell chance next Monday onwards. So, in this case, obviously, Ichimoku has been. Downtrending, so we can use Ichimoku and we can take this Tenkan Sen bounce for、uh, the potential retracement confirmations. But let's say、um, uh, Euro Pound has been spiking up and downwards. In this case, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chiko Span touching. So this is, I say, range, and in other words, It's like, uh, it's like uh, we, we don't,、uh, I don't use Ichimoku in this condition. If you ask me to take trades, then for sure I won't use Ichimoku. As a trend follower,、um, first of all, I won't really take trades in this, in this condition. But、uh, yeah, this is, this is just my style. You can technically use Ichimoku when it's ranging, you can use this、uh, Kijun Sen. As the middle price, usually when the market goes up and downwards, Kijun Sen becomes a mid price and it comes backwards to the Kijun Sen. When it gets away, it comes back to Kijun Sen, then that's a tendency. So simply you can draw the resistance support line 
and once it reaches to closer to these lines, you can basically take contrail and trace. Techni technically that's possible, but simply I don't do this. I prefer to look for some trending pairs and write on it so that I can run profits in the long term. I used to take trades like this. I used to take trades contrarian with box range. And um, at some point I felt that it's not it's not the uh, it's not my style. I liked it initially, but as time goes on, uh, when I get stopped out and when I get break even on this on these kind of uh, trading strategies, I I th I thought it's not really time efficient and um, I cannot I cannot um, I I cannot have my private time if I keep trading like this way. So I prefer I prefer to take once I take. So this is my sell position. Um, I exactly took the sell uh, over here on this vertical vertical red line. I took a sell here, and one of my stops is at the moment um, 25, 24 pips below, and the other one is about 61 pips below. So these are two of my stop losses. So even the market goes backwards, I still make some profit, and this is my way of styling the trades. So I don't really like to trade in the range market once I get used to this kind of trading strategies. But I'm sure for some people um, like to take trades in the range, and I totally understand that. But for myself, just as personality, um, I'm not the one. So today is Saturday, the market is closed, so I'm just talking uh, like a free topic today. Just relaxing, just please relax and enjoy the talk just like you're listening to some audio. Hello Faiz, thank you for joining. Good to see you here. And uh, Jorg says, um, could you show me as the parameter in MT5 for Ichimoku because your Kumo is nice and clear. Um, yeah, um, MT5, I just use a Kumo and um, I make it in the, uh, I just make the Kumo to be, uh, to be uh, filled. And also I I'm pull forward the candlestick in front of the Kumo so that you can see the candlestick in, in front. In MT5 it's possible, but MT4 um, you cannot feel the Kumo and that's one of the reasons why I prefer MT5. And I don't use like any paid or specific indicators or EAs and that's another reason why I just use MT5 because that's the latest platform and MT4 is no more supported. Yep, Jorg, you're welcome. And Blackwater and Alex, thank you for joining. Good to see you here. Oh, thank you for the words, Alex. Yep. Um, let's see, LS says, uh, would love to hear f uh, your view on CAD if it's still bullish. Yeah, let's see, so CAD, uh, Euro CAD is still, uh, CAD is bullish and it's going down. And let me check some other CAD pairs. Um, Data CAD is still downtrending too, so this one is also still nice in this daily chart and let's see pound cat is still downtrending too i put my analysis on this uh trading view on this uh, pound cat is still downtrending and I expect the market breaks the support at this one point what well, i think at least the market can reach to the previous support at this one point 
six, seven, six, eight level is my view. So that's one. And uh, let's see, another CAD at um, AUDCAD, this is also pointing down, and the market breaks the support line last week on Friday. So this looks to be still continuously going down. So we can look for a selling opportunity, this one. But one thing is that there is a previous support at this level. There was a doji candlestick and inside it broke upwards. So the buyers has been placing the stop losses below the wick. So and the market is reaching to that level now on this uh, 0 0.9456 level. So we might see some retracement and go down this way is my view. Yeah, always make sure you have to see the, the past chart if the price is near the support or resistance lines on these daily or weekly time frames. And also uh, CAD JPY. CAD JPY is also nicely bullish on a daily basis. This is a nice uptrend. So, uh, and we have this uh, resistance from the 4th of October. This is from the 4th of uh, 2nd and 4th of October uh, back in uh, 2018. So, it might be reacted and retraced. Especially this is at the round number of 89. This is uh, round number of 89 also is here. So um, it can retrace. It can retrace and breaks. Once it breaks, then we can continuously look for buy chance. But when it starts to retrace backwards to the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, then we don't want to look for any buy chance. Hello, Mary. Thank you for joining to see here. Uh, Vinod says, uh, Hi, K. Hope all is well. How price action along with Ichimoku in 50 minute time frame works? Could you please explain? Um, I don't use Ichimoku in 15 minute time frame. I prefer to use candlesticks, price actions, and lines, and uh, Bollinger Band stochastics for 15 or 5. Onkar says, uh, have you traded in Nifty or Bank Nifty? No, not yet, not yet. Yeah, once I move to Dubai, then I might be, but not yet. Since I think re I remember you mentioned about the Nifty, let me quickly look at it today. Um, index and uh, Nifty chart is, oh, it looks like it went to the upper, upper, um, trend line but this is still bearish so it might go down to the lower band in terms of Ichimoku Kumo flat Kijun Sen flat Chikou Span touching so we're not sure which which way it's going the price is exactly in the Kumo too so this is where the market is ranging and this is Y wave this is in Y wave structure from this uh, 25th of March so this is very difficult to read which way it's going so my opinion is just stay away until we see the next stable up to down trends on this one and also in terms of bank nifty this is now ranging to the kumo completely flat kijun sen flat chikou span touching so this is ranging so i would wait until the price comes above the kumo and kumo should point up and Kijun Sen points up this way, Chikou Span breakout, and then look for the buy chance afterwards. Otherwise, it might continue to go down still, or range. Yeah, I will just delete these uh, previous lines because it doesn't really work anymore. <clears throat> But basically what I say is 
universal so you can apply on uh, on any market on what I say so I take trades on the Forex market especially on these major minor pairs but um, I have been back testing my trades on the indexes and a couple of US stock markets and it's been working great so I will be taking start to taking trades once I move to Dubai on these markets but for now I just focus on these forex pairs but I can still uh, share my views on other markets too let me check a gold and see what's happening right now let's see in the gold this is exactly in the range uh, the Kumo flat Kijun Sen completely flat and Chikou span is above the candles but in between the Kumo and candles so this is ranging and last Friday looks to be the Doji candlestick so this is purely ranging right now it's very spiky this is in the P wave but we're not sure which way it's breaking it might break up for us but it might break down because in once again in daily chart this is flat So I would wait for the next major trend comes in on based on the daily of 4 then come back to this market. Otherwise, I will just keep staying away. Yeah, this structure is very tricky because we have many wicks up and up downwards. This is fishbone. So uh, if you take trades in this kind of market condition, you will get stop losses many times. Sira says, um, does the color of the Kumo have any importance? Um, not really, not really. I just color it like a light gray and dark gray because uh, simply it's easy on my eyes. <laughs> Hello, Dylan. Good to see you. Thank you for joining again. He says, my trade getting better after learning about price action. Yeah, that's good to hear. For sure, price action is very important. It's a key. Um, after all, Ichimoku is the translation of the price action too. It takes high and low for the certain range in the past and plots right now or 26 candles to the future. So if you can, if you learn about price action and combine it with Ichimoku, then that will, that will become very powerful. Let's see, Jai says, uh, is it possible to discuss scalping in one minute chart? I have been successful so far and wonder, uh, like to hear your thoughts. Uh, scalping one minute, um, I don't really do, so um, I cannot talk about it, unfortunately. I prefer to talk about the things that I do, but the things that I don't do or things that I don't use, I don't really talk about. So. I don't talk about EA, I don't really talk about uh, you know, uh, these uh, cryptocurrencies unless people ask me to talk about. So what many scalping? Uh, maybe um, I can try when it's moving, when, when the market's moving uh, next week. But for myself, uh, I am not a scalper. So uh, when it comes to scalping, I would probably look at the one hour chart by Kumo and capture direction and take, take scalping trades toward that direction. But I have to think about the the, the stop loss and also uh, the spread of the broker is also important for the scalpings and also timing when exactly to scalp the market timing is also important. Yeah, I think scalping is not really for Asian sessions. Scalping for more for the London and New York sessions. Viewer says, drink with knife is possible. <laughs> yeah, if the knife shape is like you can you can drink, then yeah, that might be possible. But you know what I mean. You know, the use is different among these tools. Hello James, thank you for joining. 
good to see here. And also in Japan we say a uh, good workman doesn't choose a tool to use. Whatever the tools he uses, um, he does well. So tools indicators is not the is not the uh, is not the question actually. Salah says, uh, "Okay, after how many years did you become a profitable trader? Uh, in two to three years, I became profitable." Until then, it was a painful two years of losses and break-evens. Yeah, I, I lost one account at uh, 10,000. I remember it was in gold. I lost it and I got so depressed. You know, I, get, I had to take some medicines to cure my depression. But somehow I went through. I was uh, basically alone. I have been alone until I started this YouTube. I never knew any other traders. I never uh, communicated with other traders. Even after I became profitable, I never communicated with other traders because um, I thought it's it's not really for me because I do what I do and other traders do what they do. And I thought there is no point to share the strategies uh, or talk about the markets because it doesn't really make a profit and that was my mindset and that's why I never uh, communicated with other traders. The funny thing is about the, as a Japanese trader myself, I have no Japanese trader friend. <laughs> it's kind of funny fact. I have a couple of friends in Japan who are non-Japanese and they are the traders and they take trades and I communicate it in English or Japanese sometimes, but uh, as a pure Japanese trader, I wouldn't know anyone. So that's how isolated I am, and that's how how isolated I was before when I was a full-time trader. Because um, even so in my mindset, still this is to be honest. But uh, even if I tell everything at the market, even if I tell everything about Ichimoku and price action. It doesn't mean that you do well, because uh, it also has to be from the experience. So until I started this YouTube channel, I was a very lonely person. <laughs> I was only talking with my partner, but that was pretty much it. In terms of the markets, actually Forex trades, Forex trading is kind of considered to be still a gamble in Japan, in, in, uh, as usual. So uh, my parents are against the forex trades, and uh, some other, some of my friends are also against the tradings itself, or even stock tradings or investment. They are kind of against it. My my grandma used to have a mountain in the south part of Japan, but she lost it because uh, she she went she jumped into some other good investing opportunities. And she invested. He, she she invested full. She bet full. She took, uh, in a sense, too high leverage, and she 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 got you know she lost everything. And that's why my family, uh, you know, uh, my family generation is like in against the investment, against the trace, against these market, uh, you know, structures. They don't really trust this uh, forex trace, so it's just myself that I do, and I wasn't able to discuss about the market. I wasn't able to consult. Or I wasn't able to ask someone for help when I get depressed. But this is also uh, this is I think this is a part of the process, and I think this is necessary to to uh, to not to give up. So that uh, eventually we can become a profitable trader. So it's such a my honor to have this group community and be able to share my experience. But one thing for sure, to be honest, is that no matter how many times you listen to my words and no matter how many times you watch videos and read books and everything, unless you practice it, you will never get it. That's for sure.
Hello, Sarah and Renny Lo. Good to see you. Thank you for joining. Yeah, it's been a quite experience. I still don't. Re I don't. I still don't uh, believe. I don't still understand why I keep doing this. <laughs> this forex trace. Now that I have a experience and a solid strategy to take trace, um, the fact is that I. I can make profits every every month. I get 10% return to 20% returns. I get these profits, but still, uh, you know, uh, the 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 second person of mine says, um, you know, does it work next month? Does it work next year? The strategy. It always uh, in my mind. So I have to be flexible to this markets while changing every every month or every year the pattern changes the uh the what works what doesn't work changes uh among the pairs or among these years or month so now that we have we start to see some trends and that's why i will be active but what if the market is ranging like this for the whole year what if the market ranges the whole year if that kind of market situation comes, then I might not gonna be using Ichimoku anymore. I might be using some other tools or I might be using Ichimoku in different way for sure. So as long as the strategy works, I use it. But if it doesn't work, then I simply don't use it. But um, the important thing is that, is that um, the, is is that you know when it works and when it doesn't work, and uh, when it doesn't work, simply you uh, forget about it and start to adapt to the new strategies. Let's see. Let me read some comments here too. Aditya says, uh, "Mr. K, what's the reason there are two stop losses placement in different places? Oh, uh, two stop losses I place because I trail in different time frames. So on this zero cat sell, um, one of the stop losses are based on the lower time frame. I took the five minute chart to trail on one of these positions. So originally." I took uh, two trays. I I place simply. I press two sell buttons. I mean sell button twice, and place a sell stop loss above the previous high, which was like 21 pips of stop loss. And I move it break even, and then I start to trail in two different time frames. So one is trading based on the five, and other one is based on the one hour chart. Yeah, this is the multiple time frame position management. And in this way, even if the market goes backwards, like if let's say the market takes this uh, first position and once it goes down this way continuously, then I can still trail on one of this position. I can still start the trail on other one too. So this is also the part of my risk management and profit management strategy. Oh, let's see. Uh, after I reload, I have, we got many comments, questions. Thank you for joining everyone. Although it's a Saturday, it's a relaxing Saturday. Thank you for joining on this uh, live stream. It's been my honor to do this every day on my YouTube channel. Let's see, Kailash says, uh, Hello Kaysen, about, how about AUD USD? AUD USD, let's see. I don't remember AUD USD. Um, looks like this is range. Yeah, this is in a range in the daily chart. In forward chart, the market broke the Kumo, but Kumo's too tiny. It's just twisted bearish, so the price might be supported in this condition, and it might go upwards this way. We had this uh, pin bar from last Friday towards the end of 
the New York session. So uh, it might reverse backwards in this condition. Someone says, uh, Dear K, I have a question. Appreciate if you, uh, if you might answer uh, it. Why most of the traders believe that Ichimoku is not efficient for scalping? Um, I think one of the reasons is that Ichimoku is lagging because it doesn't take the close price, but it takes the high and low of the of for the past past certain ta time candlesticks so it doesn't react quickly to the market and i think that's one of the reasons why scalping uh is uh not really good with the ichimoku and my other answer for myself is that i never scalp by ichimoku so to be honest i'm not sure if it works or not Hello Steven, thank you for joining. Did you see here? In 30 it's good. In 30 Ichimoku is good. I still use Ichimoku in 30 minute charge, but I'm still doubtful in 15. I think the 30 minute charge is the lowest time frame that you can use Ichimoku. Hello Bear, thank you for joining. And uh, Kong, good to see you too. Thank you for joining, TR. Oh, Erwin, sorry, I think I, I missed your comment. Uh, so I'm actually setting the EuroCAD right now. Yeah. Let's see. Hello, Freddy. Thank you for joining too. Good to see you. He says, uh, for the pound of JPY, is this too bullish from the chart view? Pound of JPY. Um, yeah, this is continuously bearish. It's bearish in uh, in a short time frame. Let's see, in in thirty, this is downtrending. But in a daily chart, in this uh, bigger scope, oh, looks like daily chart is now more of the flat side. It's close pan touching. Let's see, in four hour chart, this is now in a range. In four, the price break. The price broke the Kijun Sen, so this is ranging now. This is in Y wave. This is uh, what we call Y wave on Ichimoku because if you put this as a uh, like a horizontal, then uh, the letter looks like the Y structure, like this. If you see it horizontally, then this is like Y. So this is the Y wave, and the market retracing backwards and break broke the Kijun Sen, so I wouldn't touch on this pair for a moment. This looks to be ranging right now. The huge, the retracement too huge, so that uh, you cannot expect if the market continues to go up or not. Fight says, uh, what's your exit strategy on your current trade? So on this EuroCAD, I'm holding the sale as long as it goes down on the daily chart. Uh, sorry, in the 4-hour chart, sorry. Um, because in 4-hour chart, Kumo down, Kijun Sen down, so there is no reason to exit. But once they become flat, then that's when I look for an exit timing. The market is near the previous support from this uh, 5th of April was uh, 1.4741 and other support was here 1.4722 so the price still could go down up, up to that level and once it reaches or before it reaches it might be traced backwards so I will keep an eye on this market uh, when to exit next week I don't think it will continue to go down. I think it should be supported at some point, retrace backwards, and then I will exit from there. Yep, Vinod, you're welcome. Let's see, uh, if more than one pair is trending, what do you do? In that case, I compare the pairs and see which one has the most strongest 
uh, trend by the Kumo shape and also the price action. Uh, in terms of uh, US Forex broker, I'm not sure. Hello, Mr. Finantes. Thank you for joining. Good to see you again. Adrian says, um, hello, Kaysan. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Nice to see you again. Yep, yeah, yeah. It's a... Uh, Hopefully, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good day today. It was raining. It was, uh, there was heavy rain in Tokyo just earlier, but looks like it's okay now. I, I, hear, I heard some uh, thunder lights outside of the house. All right, hello, Shanaka. Thank you for joining. Yeah, Crystal, that's right, that's right. Yeah, how good an equipment, equipment is depends on the user. That's true. And it comes from experience. How many pairs you are watching on a daily basis? These are the pairs on my watch list. Hello, Karim. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. Good to see you here. Alex says, um, Hi K, do you think the broker you trade with um, with uh, Chase after you stop loss and kick you out through the uh, AI? Um, maybe, maybe. Well, for now, I manually take trades and manually place a stop loss and manually exit. I hardly use the buy stops or limit orders or pending orders, I, I hardly use this because I prefer to look at the market situation when I exactly take the trade. So yeah, in that sense, I'm more of the manual person. I prefer to do things manually than automatically. But yeah, for sure, AI or th this robot can change the market. And um, and that's why oftentimes, like you know, the, if if you see the price charts, like uh, back in uh, early 2000, and now the volatility has been changing, and the trend trend persistency also changes. Let's see. Phil says, uh, "How is pound USD? Pound USD." Let's see, this is this was bearish last Friday. As per daily chart, it's still ranging. There is no direction in forward chart, it's going down. So this is bearish. It can go down to uh, 1.3715 level. Yeah, or the market might be reacted right now because there is a reversal confirmations on the exactly on this uh, 1.3808 level. If you can see the past chart like this, you see this this line is a reversal. Uh, when once it breaks and resistances over time, it happens. This is very close too, so the market might bounce. Or once it breaks, it can go down. And in terms of Ichimoku, this is downtrending. So um, if it breaks, it can go down to the previous support level, in my opinion. Yeah, thank you for joining. Good to see you to everyone. Thank you for joining here from uh, different parts of the world. Good to see you. Melan says, um, I'm glad you changed your mind and decided to share your K2 strategy. Sure, sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to share my strategies and uh, willing to share my views in the market so that you can refer to my views and also learn from myself.
Blackwater says, I thank you for sharing your experience, Kaysen. You are really a good uh, trader. Your advice really helps me. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Yeah, if, a, if there is something clicks in your mind when I see these live stream of videos, then that will be my wish. Hello, Anisar. Thank you for joining. And Cristo says all investments and trading con contains element of gambling. Sure. If you don't know how to manage the risk, then simply just gambling. So, gambling is not the uh, the name of uh, of particular game or uh, occupation. Gambling becomes anything if you change from one work one job to another without knowing without putting stop loss or anything that can be gambling if you drive on the highway without any seatbelt that's gambling also i would say that that's gambling uh if you if there's no backups if you if you don't have any second plans or anything then simply that's gambling too but it tends to be more gambling when money involves on this Casino, of course, or these forex trades, any market trades can be gambling if you don't know how to how to risk manage uh, your assets. Thoros says that my father is against trading too. Yeah, tends to be right. Tends to be. My father is a educational person, um, so he he used to own a prep school. So I was actually one of his students when I was elementary school and also uh, also uh, junior high school which was very very uh, very uh, yeah tough difficult you know of course in family he is my father so I call father but uh, when while when I was actually in the class he's a teacher so everybody else calls him teacher but I do not say I don't want to call him teacher, but if I if I call him father, that's something wrong. So uh, I say, "Hello, hey, <laughs> I have some question. Hello, like that." That was kind of a funny moment when I look back. But he's he he believes the uh, you know um, uh, the nice job, nice university to go in and also decent jobs, stable and decent jobs. And he is against the trading as well. Okay, and Sarah, you're welcome too. Mr. Fernandez says, I see you smile, uh, shining lonely star trade in the forex sky. Sure, thank you for the words. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the words. Okay, so I do see many more comments, but unfortunately I have to end the live session today so uh but once again uh thank you for joining everyone and after i end this live stream i will look back these comments and enjoy these comments and i do read these comments on the videos also in archive every time you read i make sure to press the like buttons on each comment so please feel free to comment on these archives so that i can also enjoy and we can also learn together in this forex markets so i will be switching to the membership live in about a couple of minutes so it was nice talking to you everyone once again and hopefully you have a great evening and a great uh, weekend ahead so once again thank you for joining and i will see you in the next one so please stay healthy stay safe and stay gold bye for now everyone またね。Thank you.